Hello fellow YouTubers. This is a review of the G-Shock GA100A-7A. Basically this is the GA100 series. Of course this was the introduction of the extra large face watch. This is massive. Big on your wrist. Just a big watch in general. Um, of course this is the white resin version of it with that gloss finish you try to stay away from the matte finish if you don't want your your, your clothes that you're wearing rubbing off of, on it of course um, it also has gray accents with also the lavender or purple accents in there this is a massive watch period I mean if you don't know anything about G-Shock of course it was found at first uh, Casio G-Shock watch was uh, introduced in 1983 as I always say in my videos, I like to give a little history, just in case it's your first time watching one of my videos. Um, it's basically shock resist, of course, 200 meter water resist. It has an anti-magnetic structure. Um, one to one thousandth of a second stopwatch with speed indicator. This is also the 12 to 24 hour formats, of course. And then it has a um, world time 29 time zone in 48 cities. So... Basically, um, you get everything in this watch. This is the, like one of the analog editions. Of course, you get your analog style watches. You get your digital time, date, and all that stuff in the middle. Um, if you flip this down, you get that uh, standard resin band. Nice. You get the resin band. The uh, band holder is is going to be a matte finish. So that might be something you have to keep clean. You get your, your, your larger... For the larger watch, you get your larger um, G-Shock clasp back here. Of course, it has um, Casio Japan. You got your four screw backing, which is fairly normal for this watch. And then, uh, if you look a little closer, your GA your GA 100A is the model of this watch. Flip it back around. I'm gonna see if you can see the backlight on that. It's a, it's a little like LED light that flashes up. I mean, it's a nice change in terms of what you usually get with your Casio watches, which is like a backlit. I mean, it's pretty cool in terms of that. I mean, for somebody that wears quite a few G-Shocks, I kind of like this. I didn't try my first video on the wrist. Let me try it on the wrist. I can't do it. The camera on, but I'm going to sneak it on right back here just to give you a look at it on my wrist. And I got a fairly large wrist, but there you go it looks good on the wrist there you go thanks for checking out my review of the Casio GA 100A 7A watch extra large edition of course this was the largest until the GX 56 came out and trumped this one in size which i will be reviewing that later thanks again